consider that you have some data like this and this is messy data actually you can see there is no space in between these two words this one as well these are in lower cache all of these we don't have a space here as well and now we want to transform this data and how can we use interface to do that okay so I have recorded two video if you haven't watched those then make sure that you have watched those video I'll put the link in description or in the card so in this video we are going to see a next example on this interface that is a string transformation so I have decided to record a few more video on this interface topic so that you have a clear idea on this interface in VBA so let's consider that I have a string transformer interface so let me go into this developer tab and visual version. So I don't have any code in this file. So I'm going to start from scratch. So let's create an interface that let me just name this I transformer or string transformer. You can use any one. So let's create a function in this one that is transform which will take one input as a string and it will return output as a transform string. Now this is just a simple transform interface and let me insert a module that will use this transformer. Okay. So we do have a function that will take transform array let's suppose it will take the text array so that is basically this one and it will take the transformer interface so as i transformer and it will return same array after doing the transformation okay now this is my code okay so this i transformer this will use this interface class now simple code for this transformation will be like this i haven't created any implementation and that's actually not necessary to create the implementation yet okay so let me just write that from array data next row index and i'm going to just use like array data row index and first column that is array data 2 equals to we have the transformer so i'm going to use transformer dot transform you can see it's take a string as input so I'm going to just use this let me just take that this part as a history and then just use that text here and then that's it okay and this function will return the same array as we are modifying in the same array we could create another array and duplicate that array so this is our client code so by client code i mean that this is the code that is using this transformer so you can see that i haven't implemented any implementation for this transform right and we are going to implement multiple transformer and then use that on this particular function okay so let's suppose if i just want to convert this into uppercase okay so it will just convert all of this into uppercase so i can create one class that will do that particular implementation or that kind of transformation so i can say okay you case transformer okay so that is uppercase transformation transformer and i can say okay implements i transformer and as soon as i do this then i can just check this out and then this is my method that i have to implement okay so this is going to be super simple so i can just say okay 
this is going to be you guess whatever we get in the text so that's it okay now this is our uppercase transformation now let's see if this work in action or not okay so i'm going to read the data as an array so array data let's suppose keep the same name so array data and this is in zip one dot range and let me just grab this range okay so that is b3 b3 to b15 to b15 dot fell and now array data let me do something here equals to transform array and i can just pass the array data let me just take this as a range this pass first part the data range set data range is going to be uh, let me turn off this option auto syntax check okay so i'm going to grab that this is going to be my data range and sorry and then i'm going to put that output by offsetting one column that is going to be my output okay so now if i just do this and if i just run this oh, sorry. oh i need the transformer so that is going to be my uk transformer i'm just creating an instance of this class new uk transformer so use that transformer that's what i'm saying now you can see that it's converting all of those character into uppercase right like this now we could create two more implementation for that one one is that proper case transformer another is going to be my lcase transformer so that is lcase transformer okay i'm going to just copy paste this code so that we can just use l case here and for the pro proper case this will be a little bit different because we don't have a proper case in vba either we need to string convert function okay then it's saying convert this to vb proper case okay so that's it now if you look at this if i just use l case transformer and then run this and if you look at this code now it's all in lowercase right and if we want to do uppercase then we just need to say okay sorry proper case then we can say new proper case and run this and look at this this is in proper case now so it's transformed this capital n to small n because this is not two different word so you may ask that why do we need this this is super simple you can just say okay proper case equals to pre sorry proper and that will convert that into proper case or lower case then it will convert that into lower or upper case to convert that into an upper and you are right we don't need that interface for this kind of stuff now where this will be really useful now let's suppose i want to implement a transformer that will do that okay insert one space in between this transition so lowercase to uppercase transition so whenever we have a lowercase to uppercase transition then put one space in between the, those two okay so let's build that one so let's see i'm going to say okay proper sentence transformer okay and we are going to implement the same thing okay so we can just change this to that instance and it will work okay so in this case what we need to do we need to loop through the text right we look to we, we need to start from the second character and then go till the last one and then check that if the previous character is a lower case and this character is upper case and if that is the case then add a blank space right so team transform 
check it. Okay. I'm going to get that and if I can just say okay text dot preview now string if this is the empty string then it doesn't make any sense so we can just say okay transform text will be my just actually text okay and if or I could just say trim so it will just trim that out and it is still the stream version then we can just say okay transform text equals to text now else if in different cases where this is not a vivinal string then we need to move from the second character to the last one okay so let me build that code because that's not the point of this video so i'm going to pause a little bit and then create the code and i will explain that okay so welcome back again so i have created this code let me just explain a little bit so when it's more than one character or not a divinal string then we are moving from second to uh, the last length okay that's why i keep the first character and then take the previous character current character using mid function and i have created some smaller function is uppercase and is lowercase Although this logic is a little bit fragile, we should have checked that if it's alphabet or not at first, okay? But for simplicity, that's it. Now, we're just saying that, okay, if the previous character is lowercase and current character is the uppercase, then add a space with the previous version and then append with the current character. So that's it. Now, if we just change this one to proper sentence case transformer, then if I just run this, if you look at this then you can see it put a blank space in between these two correct like this in between these two and in, in this one as well but if you look at this carefully then already a space correct uh, but it put one more space here because this uh, as i said that this logic is not that much of a uh, solid logic yet so this one is not a too much of solid log logic so we could just add one more condition that if previous case char is already a space, right? Then do nothing, correct? So that is maybe we could just add that here. And so not equals to empty string. Sorry, previous character is not a space. Okay, then add that extra space now if we just use that and if we run this oh sorry let me run this again ah that's it that's it okay now i understand okay so that this is going to be easier if previous char or equals to this string or current char equals to this string then just ignore that okay so dp ignore it else else if let's see i am going to get rid of this part now So, selection. So, comment this. Okay. Now, if I run this now, then I will see that this is now better, right? So, there is only one space. So, this is one more transformation, right? So, let's suppose what if we want to see that, okay. So, I think we need the better implementation of that. I don't know if it's considering zero or whoa, but I think I need to check that this is going to be a better way that this has to be a string. Uh, so I have a video on this that if a character is allowed or not using the like operator, so you may want to check that. So I'm going to use that. So if current like A to Z and A to Z. In that case, try this. 
so that's it this will be better right so only if it's a character then check that otherwise it will always be false this is a better approach and if and I am going to get rid of this part as well and let's see if you run this now so this is better 20th century fox refinery 29 and you can see we have only one special right now let's consider that we want to have another transformer that will use a space in between number okay like this that character and number right so when we have the transition that this one is a character and this one is a number then add a space okay so maybe we can have two two more transformer class one will do like if character to number transition then use a space another one is like number to character transition then use a space as well so it will be like 20th instead of this and it will be like 29 so if you understand the whole idea that we can create one more transformer and then we can use that transformer as well now i'm going to show you that we can use different transformer multiple times on this so i'm just going to copy paste this one use this proper sentence transformer first and then on the output data of this transformer use a proper case so why i'm saying this proper case transformer is just because this you can see that i will be an uppercase so i just right so if i just use that and if i just run this then you'll see that i is in capital letter right so we could build one more transformer that in between alphabet and digit put a space and similarly this two so i'm going to build that and i'm going to just show you the demo hold on so i have created two new transformer one is alpha to digit transition and digit to alpha transition okay so basically this will put a space when we have a transition like alphabet to digit and digit to alphabet okay and i have created two helper function using using the like operator is digit and is alphabet and if you just see this part now you can see that it's using proper sentence transformer to transform that as a sentence it's not fully actually correct but okay no, not a proper sentence but it add proper space in between our character now we are using this proper case transformer so it will use proper case so capitalize first character of each word and then alphabet to digit transition so alphabet to digit transition is for this one official 401 so it will put space in between r and 4 and then digit to alphabet transition that is for 20th century okay so it will put 20 and then space and if you just run this look at this now you can see that we can create as many kind of transformer as we want and the code is in cleaner version so what i mean by clean that this code is not kind of like a monster code that you have a uh, lots of if else and then uh, a lot of condition to check and then format accordingly so each class has a specific purpose okay so it's put a space in between alphabet to digit it puts a space between digit to alphabet okay and this is a smaller class and manageable if you need to change anything you can just come here and then change that particular thing and the rest of the code will work as expected so this is the example on this transformer string transformation and you can see that you can build your logic you know if you want to do something like you know okay let's suppose if we have a you know this come um, from usa now i want to see that okay if it has a multiple caps then use uppercase okay that's another part that we can do that okay but uh, we can create another transformation class and then do that transformation as well so you can see that makes this code flexible you can just create another transformer and you can use that transformer on the uh, transform data or on the raw data and you can have a correct clean data so that's the power of this interface i'm going to discuss next on this topic using a data saving or data reading example so like you know if you have a data like this then if you want to save this in different file format so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time have a good day